Did you get what you wanted? Did you really think you'd get away with it? You interfered in a situation you didn't begin to understand and then you ran straight to Charlie to make as much trouble for me as you possibly could. If there's trouble, Liz, it's of your making, not mine. You didn't know the whole story. You didn't try and find out. Heaven forbid you should ask me first. You just automatically do what's going to make me look bad and you look good in Charlie's eyes. It was none of your business. I know I'm not your favourite person right now, but how could you be so destructive and so mean when I need you the most? How could you do this to me? Even if you think I betrayed him by getting him on tape, Charlie had already violated my trust. If you were so suspicious of this man that you supposedly love, then why didn't you go to him first and give him a chance to explain himself? Have you ever lived with an addict? Charlie's not the kid you grow up with anymore. Every day I gave him all kinds of chances and he lied to me repeatedly. What would you do? Yeah, no, I know. You're gonna say he was protecting me from things that I didn't need to know. Things that maybe I might even misinterpret, but... That's just how you see things, Heather, and I love that about you, but that's not love. It's manipulation, it's treating me like a child, and frankly, it's selfish to put someone you supposedly love in danger if he's involved in certain kinds of business. I deserve to know. What danger could possibly justify sending him to prison? Heather, I was stalked. I was followed home and someone, I don't know who, ransacked my house while I was at work. Who does this to someone they love? I wasn't even sure what I was going to do with the tapes. I told the police that. I told them it had to stay in my control, that was part of the deal. Your deal with the cops. What about your loyalty to Charlie? Look, I know he's your brother, but I thought you of all people would understand. I guess I was wrong.